All right, guys. A couple people asked me some questions about some gear that I've had on the channel. So I just have this one Tigris sent, uh, set up right now at my, my house, I'm just in my backyard. It was 16 below with the wind chill this morning, which is obviously relatively cold. Um, it will get colder, but it's cold enough right now. And I'm in a sweater and I'm hot in this room right now. In fact, in this one Tigris tent, uh, right now it's 60. I think once the stove gets going a little more, it's 60 Fahrenheit, by the way. 16 below Fahrenheit outside and uh, 60 above inside. So it's not uncommon to have an 80 degree or 100 degree difference outside to inside the tent. And uh, it is relatively closed up right now. I have one slight door open behind me right here. Just at the bottom. It's a little bit open down there. Ugh. Just so you can see, just a little breather for air down there. This tent has been uh, actually pretty good. It's not great with a load of snow on it. I do have to kind of like hit the sides and get the snow to fall off because otherwise I get concerned about the stove, which this is a, a guide gear small stove that they have. It's like 105 bucks, great deal. I do get concerned about that touching something and, and not necessarily starting on fire, but more just melting it. Um, I have had a couple pokes here. You can't really see it. Uh, from the camera there but there's a couple spots I had to patch interior and exterior just because um, a couple sparks actually came out of one of the breather holes and it didn't start it on fire but it did melt some holes and it it potentially could have started on fire the sill nylon is not fire resistant it's really not guys so if that's a huge concern of yours I would say this tent is still not for you but as far as temperature can uh, a stove like this heat this yes absolutely I mean easily t-shirt weather. I, I should take off my sweater. It's it's really hot after you get the stove going. I think if I could throw just a couple logs on there, it probably will be like 80 degrees in here and then I'll start opening up the top vents and cooling it off. And that's that's when it's 16 below uh, with wind chill outside. It's rather windy out right now. Uh, a couple people had asked about a hatchet they saw in a recent video. This is a trooper hatchet I got from Fleet Farm actually. I was walking through and I, I recognized the face of the hatchet. This is really almost a ripoff of some of your more expensive hatchets, like two and three hundred dollar hatchets with the face. And I, I looked at the profile. It's actually a really nice profile on the head. I haven't talked about it in any videos yet because I'll compare it against an S-Wing and maybe a couple other things. I do like my hand tools. Uh, I'll tell you right off the bat, grain is pretty straight on this trooper. This particular one that I have, it's American Hickory. I uh, don't like all the stamping on it. Obviously, that looks stupid, but the head itself is a really good design for both splitting and especially chopping. And so I figured this might be my new spoon carving uh, hatchet. I did reprofile it right away. I got a, uh, first I used a file. I used a mill bastard and got it uh, pretty thin. And then I did take a sander to it and water cooled it. I just got it really razor sharp. So far, I'm a big fan of this. The eye has been set uh, pretty well. It's not perfect, but it's pretty well. I'll give you an update on that more when I've actually used it quite a bit more. So far I've only carved a couple spoons and delimbed a couple trees. I would like to know a little bit more about the steel and uh, if the handle is set real well. As far as the head itself though, I think it's solid. I think it's good. And then some questions about this. Yes, I still use LT Wright Knives products. This Genesis right here has got to be one of the best knives that's ever created and I, I love the ones with the liners just a little thicker broader for my hand so yep still using that still a fan of 3v even in extreme cold I think 3v is just fine slightly chippy for people who are maybe going against pine and pine knots that kind of thing I don't know but for me anyways this is the stuff I'm still using I love it and the last question somebody asked me was about uh, head height in here so the way I have it set up in the winter with a little bit of a snow skirt around the outside just to keep it extra warm in here, no, I cannot stand up all the way. So right here, um, my, my head above this, I know you really can't see it. Let me just try to back this out for you a little bit. I cannot stand up all the way, especially in the winter. In the summertime, I set it up a little higher. And in the winter time, if I'm just trying to keep it low and tight, I can't stand up all the way. But usually that's not a problem because I usually have a hammock run through here and so I'm sitting down in my hammock very comfortable I don't have to stand up all the time and most of the time it's just quickly to grab a couple logs throw it on the fire and this is basically 
um, you know, the extent of the, the standing I do in the tent. So not a problem for me, very comfortable with it. Still really happy with the tent overall, but it's not perfect for everyone. There's gonna be condensation, it's a single wall kind of deal. So I think I answered most people's questions there. If you have more questions about gear you've seen on the channel, I'll try to do a quick update video like this uh, for you every once in a while when I have a chance. I just had like literally a half an hour today and I wanted to get out and do this. Mess around is carving a little bit before I head back in. So this is it. If you guys have questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Go ahead and drop a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in a video pretty soon this week.